welcome back to Bookish Taylor. I am Taylor and today I'm here to bring you a 5 to 1 Friday. Now if you don't know anything about 5 to 1 Friday, all of the information will be down below as well as Amanda and her channel. She is the co-host of 5 to 1 Friday. We have our 5 to 1 most excited July releases. So let's go ahead and dive on in. I had to do a little bit more research than I am used to for this because I picked books that are by authors or just books that I don't know anything about. I'm gonna be looking down because I have my little my little list and my synopsis down here. Number five is going to be Fox by Nadine Brandes. I'm not sure, I'm sorry. But Fox is about a boy by the name of Thomas Fox. He is actually turning to stone. I believe what I read was it starts in one of his eyes. Over time, he's gonna be slowly turning into stone. So the only cure that he is told for this is to join his father's attempt at an assassination on the King of England. Now this takes place in 17th century London. It also just so happens that the King is also the father of the girl that Thomas is in love with. So it just sounds like a big something that I like it just for some reason it it interests me and I'm super duper compelled to want to pick it up because A I've never heard of anybody turning to stone before like in a book and the fact that Thomas is in love with the daughter of the man that he is set to kill. So it sounds super interesting and I'm willing to pick it up and give it a shot. Number four is going to be Contagion by Aaron Bowman. This follows a skeleton crew who are in space. They are just kind of hanging out. They are sent on a rescue mission when an urgent SOS message comes through for a work detail on a distant planet. When they arrive, the site is just completely, it's abandoned, it is littered with trash, debris, there's nobody to be seen, there's also dead bodies. So as they go and they try to piece together this mystery of what happened to this work detail, they uncover a lot of, a lot of secrets. That sounds really interesting, it's also sci-fi. Now continuing with this sci-fi theme, the next book is The Loneliest Girl in the Universe and holy cow this sounds adorable. It follows a young girl by the name of Romy Silvers and she is the only remaining crew member of a spaceship that is traveling to a second home for the people of Earth. So they are trying to establish a new humanity and she is actually the sole survivor. So she's just floating through space on her way to this planet when she receives a message that there is a, another spaceship that's been sent out and the only person on the spaceship is a boy by the initial J. So they correspond via email and because of the distances between their two spaceships, it can take weeks at a time. But slowly Romy finds herself falling in love with J and it just sounds really good. Romance in space. I'm all for it. Number two is going to be Sea Witch by Sarah Henning and oh my god, this cover is completely stunning and I am so happy that I have found this and that I found out that it's coming out in July because I need it. This is gonna be one of those books that I will buy. I'm actually probably going to pre-order it relatively soon because I need this book. Or the tag paragraph is the only thing that I wrote down for this because that's all I needed to know that I'm going to pick it up. It says, Everyone knows what happens in the end, a mermaid, a prince, and true love's kiss. But before the young siren's tale, there were three friends, one feared, one royal, and one already dead. So, yeah. I read that and I was like, I need, I need this. I need to pick it up. So I'm really excited to pick up Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. And I'm definitely going to be reading it in July because it's on my TBR already. So, yeah, I'm really excited. And then number one is a book that I had not even heard of. This author, I've heard the name before, but it's just never clicked. I've never picked up a book by this author, but this is the number one book that I'm looking forward to to be released in July. And that is Champion of Darkness by C.J. Rutherford. And holy cow, it's a fairy story. And yeah, it follows a young fairy, Jessalia, who must leave her family and be the next companion to the elder princess. And I believe that if Jess does not go, her family is threatened as well as her town because dragons will descend upon this town and just basically burn it to the ground. So 
yeah, that sounds really interesting. This is really one that piqued my interest just because of the fact that there is this young girl who has to go and be this companion. There are just a lot of different secrets that are going to be coming with this and she has to travel alone through this dangerous forest and she's a fairy and it just, it was perfect and I'm so excited and I'm so glad that I did the research and I found this book because I don't think I would have heard of it otherwise because I haven't seen any news on it on book two so I'm really glad that I that I was researching and I found this book. So those are going to be the five releases that I am most excited for in the month of July. What book are you most excited to pick up and to get your hands on in the month of July? Like I said, I think Champion of Darkness or Sea Witch. Those are the two that I'm really looking forward to and that I'm really hoping to get my hands on for July. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye!